In this lecture, let's go through the process of adding another input field and see how exactly an input field has to be added. So the very first step is to simply create an input field. So we already have an input field here. Let's create another one. So you need to say input. So this creates the regular input field. Set its type to text. So I would do that. So there's nothing new in that. And the next thing which you need to do whenever you create an input is to create a variable inside your state for it. So if you scroll up, we already have created or initialized the state here. And let's say this input field is for accepting the last name. So you simply have to go ahead and create a last name object property here. So you can also call it as variable as well. And now once you have this variable up over here, which is last name, you need to assign the value for last name to this. So you need to say input value and that value has to be nothing but this dot state dot last name, which is nothing but your variable name. And now once you have assigned the value to this input, you also need to assign an on change as well. So you need to say on change equal, and this is going to be a method. So you would need to say this dot, let's say we call this thing as handle last name change. So remember that the name of this handler and the name of this handler should be different. So this is handle change and this is handle last name change. So I will simply copy the name of this and I would create a new method for it. So right below this method, which ends up over here, I'll create the handle last name change method and I'll make use of arrow notation for the same. So make sure that you use the syntax because we want to access the event. And then inside this, you simply have to set the value of last name just as we have done for the first name. So I would say this dot set state and then create an object here. And I would need to say last name as nothing but event dot target dot value. So once this thing is done, we are pretty much good to go. So if I go back here, as you can see, we have the second input field here. Let me hit refresh. And if I say last name as Ford, as you can see that value has been successfully entered here. So I could add the first name here and I could add the last name here. So it works absolutely fine. Now the only question which is remaining is how to submit this particular form. So we have learned how to make these fields editable and how to properly attach these fields to state values. So in the upcoming lecture, we are going to make use of the same state values to submit this particular form. So we are going to learn about form submission in the next lecture. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.